still be, you know, have leverage and whatnot. Plus, knocking out 30 hours makes uh, makes school a lot easier when you when you decide to go on and, and uh, play in venture off in a pro ball. You had a lot of guys around you in the past, and now that the, the weight's going to be shouldered by you and Ryan in the middle of the lineup, like, I'm, I'm sure you're looking forward to that. I really am. I, I've I've been wanting to be in the middle middle lineup since my freshman year. Uh, you know, I've, I've batted behind Dominguez my freshman year. I'm sure you remember that. Uh, it was, it was awesome, and uh, you know, last year, not getting uh, past the sixth spot in the lineup uh, it was definitely kind of frustrating for me. You know, to have to handle that. Although, you know, being where I was in the lineup last year gave me a lot of opportunities for RBIs, and so I don't think I would have had as a successful season as I did if I didn't bat where I batted. But uh, my whole entire life, I've been a middle lineup guy, and I just uh, that's what I want to be at this year. So I'm glad to have that opportunity for sure. Tony, so talk about your summer. I mean, it was a lot of fun. I felt like uh, I got in a good rhythm. You know, it's a, it's a great place to play. There's a, you know, a lot of a lot of good players out there, and just you know, every day you got to come to the park and bring it. And I just I have a lot of fun doing that. And you know, I felt like I was in a good role closing there. And you know, I had good coaches, and just I mean, it was just a lot of fun. I just love you know getting out and playing ball every day. I love playing playing with fun. I mean. Good as it gets. I, mean, I, don't know, I don't know how else to describe it. It's just a feeling like I haven't felt before. You know, you turn around, you see a monster. There's fans, and you know, you're running in from the same bullpen Papelbon does, and it's just an amazing feeling. What does it do for your confidence to pitch in the elite summer league like that, and then come back and, and, and do well? I mean, obviously, you know, it makes you feel good that about yourself that you can compete against the best in college baseball. And, you know, I think it, uh, it's only going to help this year and make me more comfortable and, you know, feel better. Ryan's a guy also projects as a high draft pick. As teammates, what, what makes him the player he is? I mean, Ryan works hard every day. You know, he busts his butt hitting in the cage early, whether it be, you know, drills, T-word, doesn't matter. You know, Ryan's always getting his work in and, and he knows himself as a hitter, which I think is, you know, Ryan's biggest thing. He really, I mean, one little thing, he knows what he's doing. You know, he really takes pride in his hitting and fielding as well. I mean, I don't, I think it's just hard work and, you know. Coach McDonald described him as an RBI mongrel. Does that mean, like, when there's guys in scoring position, he shortens his stroke just to try and get the guy in, or what does he's, that mean? He's just going to battle. No matter what, he's going to battle. And uh, that's just that's what he's done. He's a he's a competitor, just like just like many guys in this locker room. Um, but he has more uh, skills and gifts that a lot of kids may not have. Um, so he uses them to the best of his ability, and, and the kid just does everything right. How, is this team going to be a different uh, sort of than the last couple of years? Maybe not as much power, a little bit more speed, defense oriented. Uh, you, you know, I, I think uh, a lot of people are trying to second guess these bats a little bit, you know, with the new BB core modifications. Um, I've, I've honestly think these bats have been very true um, compared to the same bats we had last year. I, I have no problem swinging the bats that we swung this year. Uh, you know, there's, there's uh, you know, some balls you, you hit and you wonder, I wonder if I had the bat last year. You know, I wonder if, I, if that would have, you know, been out of the park or what. But we're not going to change our philosophy. We're, we're, we're still going to be very aggressive. We're still going to shoot for doubles, still shoot for the gaps. You know, that's, that's the way we play. We, we are a very aggressive team, and we're not going to change our philosophy just because the bats changed. Preseason All-American, Tony. How, you, how do you stay grounded throughout the season, stay focused with that dubious honor? I mean, obviously it's an unbelievable honor, and I'm very proud of it, but... You know, I try to go day by day and just what happens in the past happens. You know, I try to get better every day. That's just the way I look at it. You guys get more pumped up to face you now because of how hard you throw and because of the recognition you got? I'm, I'm sure they do. It just makes it funner for me. I mean, someone uh, wants to get in there and get a hit off you. I, I don't know. I just, I just really... I love when guys, you know, make it, try to make it a harder competition, and it just fuels my fire too. I'll speak for him for a little bit for that. <laughs> <laughs> as, 
as a hitter, uh, you know, when, when you get somebody up there at the pitcher staff, and as, as Tony, Tony, you know, it, it, you're not going to sit up there and stand on the mound and think about, oh, I'm an All-American. You're not going to, you just, you're just going to go out and play. But as a hitter, you're going to sit back and go, oh, this kid's an All-American. He throws 95, he throws 96. I want to face that. You want to face it. You do. But uh, I don't, I don't, Tony's not the guy to stand up on the top of the mound and go, yep, I'm an All-American. You know, so. Uh, he kind of stumbled to that question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what were you acting to now in terms of the, the, the fastball? 96, 97? What? I would say it's, you know, probably 94, 96 most of the time. And I run it, you know, 97. I mean, yesterday I was 96, 97. So it just depends on the weather. If it's 23, I'm not thinking I'm going to be able to do it. What, where have you have you improved like more on your on your secondary pitches, your breaking ball change up? Uh, I think my slider has got um, definitely more consistent. Uh, even my change up starting to come around, you know, quite a bit. I think my biggest thing is just the confidence to throw it in any count. You know, I feel a lot better. Doesn't matter first pitch, full count, middle. Just I feel comfortable throwing it at all times. Um, and I think just. Uh, you know, starting to get more consistent just with everything, you know, feeling a lot better with my fastballs, hitting more spots, and, you know, I think consistency is really helping me out right now. You look like that's got a lot of energy. How do you control it for seven or eight innings knowing that you're probably not going to get into late in the game, the first seven innings of the game? How do you 